right, we're going to go ahead and uh, solve this trig function now, and it's 3 tangent of x over 2 plus 3. So 3 times tangent of x over 2. So we're taking the tangent of x over 2, and then we're going to add 3 equals 0. So um, just as we've been doing with all the uh, previous problems, let's just go ahead and solve for, let's just isolate our trig function. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3. So it's 3 tangent of x over 2 equals negative 3. And then I'm going to divide by 3. So I'll have tangent of x over 2 equals negative 1. Okay, now we haven't done anything like this yet where we take the tangent of something or the sine or cosine and it, it hasn't been anything but, but a variable. But now we throw in this little loop now where, where it's x over 2. All right, so this is how we're going to do this. Let's just pretend that this is a single entity such as like tangent of theta equals negative 1, okay? So we're just going to think of this as just a single variable. And so right now I'm just going to replace x over 2 with theta, okay? Now, what is theta then? Tangent of what is negative 1? Tangent of what is negative 1? And make sure that you're within, uh, let's see, one period of tangent goes from 0 to uh, pi, right? So from 0 to pi. So that's what we're trying to do right now. So tangent, that would give us some. So theta must be uh, 3 pi over 4. That's right. So 3 pi over 4. Okay. But wait a minute. This wasn't theta, right? Theta was, we let theta equal x over 2. So let's just go back and replace our theta with uh, 3 pi over 2. So actually, I'm sorry, with, with x over 2. So I'm going to say x over 2 equals 3 pi over 4. Okay, see what I just did? I just replaced our theta with, with x x over 2. I'm just going back and back replacing it because at first I replaced x over 2 with theta. Now I'm going to go back and replace theta uh, with x over 2. So now let's solve for x, okay? Because really we're trying to find x, right? So if I solve for x, then that means I have to multiply both sides by 2. So I'm going to multiply uh, this side by 2. And I'm going to multiply this side by 2. Okay, so hot those go away. So x equals, well, this is a 2 right here. That's that's 2 goes into 4 2 times. So I can cross out that 2 and make that a 2 on the bottom. So it's going to be 3 pi over 2. Okay, and uh, so we, we, we were not given any restrictions, so we have to give all the multiples of this, okay? And we know that the period... We know that the period of tangents um, is pi, correct? However, there's a little bit of a trick here because the, the rule to find our period is pi over b, right? If we're trying to find um, the one for tangent. If it was sine or cosine, like we would do 2, two pi over b. So really, it's pi over, well, what's my b? My b is the... It's the coefficient of x, which is 1 half. So really, my period of this specific tangent function would be 2 pi. And the reason why that, that is important, because that's what we need to add to this, plus 2 pi n, where n is within the integers. And this may make more sense if you were to graph this guy. Okay, If you were to graph him, it would look you know, something like this. And just to show you why I'm doing this, okay, if this is our 3 pi over 2, the distance between here and the next 3 pi over 2, that distance right there is 2 pi. You see, that's what the purpose of this is right here. The purpose of this is to add, when is it going to reach 3 pi over 2 again? Well, it's going to reach it when I add 2 pi. Okay, not, not pi because uh, this specific tangent function has um, x over 2.